thought we might do some touristy stuff here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Way down there, you would find the Lehigh River. Can't see it from here, but you'll probably trust me. And uh, definitely an old industrial area. You might remember the song, Billy Joel. Back there, not looking too bad. That apartment complex probably has a decent view down to the river. And here we've got uh, a suitcase. Appears to be perhaps early 80s, along with some steel reserve there. And it's kind of weird, like I, the only thing I <laughs> have learned about the northeastern U.S., or the first things, let's say, came from Sesame Street, and you'd always see like the guy out, I don't know, was that like Mr. Hooper or something? I'm a little too young for Mr. Hooper. I remember when he died, it was a big deal. But they'd always show like, you know, people outside of shops and stores and stuff like spraying the sidewalk down. And this is um, Dave's Vacuum. So basically, they're selling German uh, brand stuff in here. And probably a lot of that is used vacuums that Dave has uh, kind of put back together. So that one's got uh, quite the design to it. It's a Royal, and it says that he's closed for this uh, holiday weekend, but they do take credit cards. So let's see what else we can find here in the center of Allentown that is worthy of note. And we are definitely seeing the nicer part of town here with some unique old structures. And across the street, they actually have a swimming pool up there. So pretty classy in this uh, little area. This has been here basically forever. I bet you that glass is even just like old school glass that it's probably thicker at the bottom than the top. And you can see above here, that's some old school glass that's just somehow made it on both sides without getting all busted up and stuff. So they do have some old, interesting, unique architecture here that has character. Along with some newer stuff that I could probably do without. Looks like we've got right in the screen now that's an old Chrysler Chrysler New Yorker behind that fence and before they had crossovers I guess they had that Kind of a combination between a van and a car. I don't know if you can see it, but back in there they've got all the transformers, the electrical stuff. And uh, they've kind of hidden it out here so that we don't have to look at it. And you might hear the, uh, the music in the background, so a big thing in, in town here is kind of driving around with loud music blasting as well as in some parts of town it's very common to have these little stores that are i think mainly dominican or caribbean let's say that really blast music that can be heard from great distances and i'm not sure if that's meant to sort of announce their look announce that they're there and they're open or if it's just for enjoyment purposes or what exactly the reason is for that, but it is something that uh, stands out quite obviously upon your first arrival in Allentown. I continue to find some relatively new construction. 
strangely though, nothing is open. I mean, it is a holiday weekend, but um, it's not like a big city where you would expect to find just all kinds of um, selection at all kinds of stores. Um, but you do see some different architecture. I mean, that's basically, looks like the Empire State type of um, architecture, right? So comment below it exactly what term that would be. But overall, I found that it's very difficult in the center of Allentown to really go out and kind of buy food and stuff because what does exist tends not to be open outside of banking hours. So when you do find something that's open, it tends to be, um, there's a pretty good like meat aisle area in the little grocery stores and if I lived here I would probably have to really get used to um, that Goya brand that you'll occasionally see in here they have like entire aisles just of Goya canned beans and such different varieties so What you're witnessing here is a clock with the name of the town on top of it there. And then you might think to yourself, that's the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. That must be the absolute epitome of um, tourism. But no, while it is the centerpiece of Allentown, I believe that kind of... Um, tall column which today is decked out for Memorial Day right honoring all of the different people from the city who have served in the military I think the real centerpiece here of uh, the tourism trade is going to be the church across the street from us and I'm going to turn the camera in that direction there so that church is where for, I think it was about a year, based on the sign that I read earlier, they hid the Liberty Bell, right? the one that's um, in Philadelphia. During the American Revolution, decided that it needed to be evacuated and uh, apparently the evacuation ended here due to breakdown. So they basically just uh, hid it in that church. So there you go. That is the uh, tourist report from the city or town that was once an industrial powerhouse and today is struggling to sort of remake itself. So what will Allentown be in 10 years from now? Maybe we'll come back and find out. But we'll see you on the next one. Until then. I leave you with images of the Liberty Bell Storage Church. <laughs>